Hello everyone. I've recently been getting a lot of questions on the DDWRT firmware uh, videos that I've made, which uh, people are asking, how do I upgrade to the next beta uh, version of DDWRT, or how do I downgrade my version from what I have now to the older one that I had that was working better than the one I just installed? On this video, I will show you how to do that with the Netgear WNR 2000 version 3. Um, this is a, a slightly older router but it's still out there and it works great. It is an N300 router so uh, I'm going to cover that in this video. So first thing you need to do before we do anything else is to go out and get the firmware that you want to install or upgrade to or downgrade to. So well, I'm going to open up another tab here and we're going to go to DDWRT. So that's just dd-wrt.com and that's the official website of that third party firmware. Uh, we're going to go to downloads and then after downloads you'll get a oh, router database but where I'm going to go is to other downloads because I want to uh, install uh, the beta firmware that's available for this router. So we're going to hit on other downloads. And then you get a, a big list here and on the uh, second choice you'll see betas so click on betas and then you get all the years that, of betas that are available from 2010 to 2015. I'm going to choose 2015 and um, then basically at this point you have a choice of which beta for that year you want to install. I'm going to go with um, the latest the, the second to the latest. I never ever install the latest router uh, beta because I find that if there's any uh, bugs or instabilities they'll fix it on the uh, later one the second to the uh, newest one first so I never go beyond that because I find that the I know I get problems in the latest firmware version so you, you choose what you want but I'm going to choose 27 147 here and then you get a list of all the routers that the uh, beta firmware is available for and obviously it's a large list so here we're going to hit control F and uh, that'll give us the find option. There we go. And then after you hit control F on your keyboard, then just type in WNR as I, as you see, I already have that there and it highlights it here. Uh, Netgear WNR 2003. So let me scroll this down a little bit more. There's all your WNRs. This is the one we want. And make sure that you're dealing with the right router. This is for the N w Netgear WNR 2000 version 3. Any other version or a different router name, this does not apply. So we're going to go here. And you get three files. You get the uh, WNR 2000 uh, v3-factory underscore na dot image. And then you have exactly the same name again, but ww dot image. So the difference is between those two files is one is uh, in, an intent, intended for the North American market. So if you're in you know, North America and you have this router, then choose the NA image. If you're anywhere other than North America, choose the worldwide image, which is what the WW stands for. Um, you're going to need to download either one, either one of these two and the web flash bin. So you need to have uh, either the NA or the D WW image file and then the bin file. It's a two-step process. You it, just like you know installing it is. Um, you need the primary image to start it up, and then the secondary image to finish the process. So let's do that with the NA uh, image for myself. And you get the option to save or open. Well, I'm going to choose Save As. And as you see in the in the name of the uh, file, you don't get the version type on there. So I, I'm just going to put it in my downloads directory under a folder that I already created called WNR 2000 version 3. And as you can see, I've already created a, a, a revision for, folder 27147. That way I know which revision uh, I'm dealing with in that folder. So just double click that and put it away. Now you can do, you, you know, save it to wherever you'd like and, and organize it any way you wish. This is just the way I do it. And then you click save and it says you want to replace it. I'm going to say yes. Of course, you probably won't already have that there. Then, uh, of course, we're going to get the uh, version 2. Or sorry, the uh, second part of this uh, flash, which is the WNR 2000 version 3 web flash bin. And it's always the same procedure. You need the two files. Uh, click on 
save again or save as. Again, I'm going to put it in the same folder. All right. I'm going to say yes to replace it. I've already downloaded them already just to test all this out and make sure it works. But that's, that's the procedure there. Let's go to, uh, actually, let's go back. And actually, one more thing I want to check here. I'm going to just click on open folder here and go back to my WNR2000. Okay, I've also downloaded the 26653 uh, version and the 266, uh, the, sorry, the 26446 uh, revision of these firmwares. If you want to experiment with different earlier or newer or different firmwares, just do what I just did. Download the uh, different firmware uh, versions, organize them like you will. This is the way I organize them. And the reason I've downloaded these three revisions is to show you that it's possible to go forward and backwards and how to do that. I'm just going to close this out here. And at this point, we're done with the downloading of the firmware. Hopefully you've got the ones that you want already downloaded. And this is another key thing about doing this. Okay, so we're going to open this up and you see how I have this configured. I've got the WNR 2003 uh, version 3 and I have it plugged in, turned on. And I have a cable going from one of the orange ports, which are the LAN ports, to my LAN port on my computer. And I'm using the patch cable that came with the computer with the, the router. You know, this is the only way you should be flashing this router. Do not flash this router through wireless, your wireless interface or through a wireless connection to it. Yes, you may get away with it, you know, 99 out of 100 times. But it's that 100th time where, you know, it's going to screw up your router and it's not going to boot anymore and you're going to be in a world of hurt. Always, always, always do your firmware upgrades using a LAN cable. So next, what we're going to do, and I'm assuming you've done this, um, is to isolate your connection to that router. And what I mean by that is, um, in my case, I'm connected to Wi-Fi. And uh, now, of course, I've got the router connected to my LAN LAN port. So I'm connected in two ways. One, you know, one way is through uh, Wi-Fi, and one way is through the LAN port. I want to isolate it so I'm only connected through the LAN port. If you go to your network icon here and just go to Open and Network Sharing Center, and then go to your Change Adapter Settings link, and then you see all your adapters. Now, what you want to do here is you want to disable your Wi-Fi connection. You know what that does is. Basically, it says, okay, whatever you're connected through uh, Wi-Fi, you're no longer going to talk to it that way. Okay, so I just disabled Wi-Fi. We'll come back at the end of the video and re-enable it again. And then I'm going to right-click my local area connection, which is my LAN connection. And then I'm going to go to Properties. And I'm going to Properties to see if the TCP IP uh, stack is set up correctly. So double-click on Internet Protocol version 4. And make sure that it's set to obtain IP address automatically, obtain DNS uh, uh, server address automatically as well. And then if that's set right, hit OK and OK. And if you want to make sure here that you're connected to it, just click on, right click on the uh, local area connection and click on status. And then you'll see speed 100 megabits and, and you see some data moving here. If you go to details, it shows you the IP address that you've been given and the default gateway, which is the same IP address here. This is where your router is at. So that's where we're going next. Back to the browser. And uh, as you can see, here's my tabs, what I just was getting the stuff from. And now it's basically I'm offline because the router is not connected to anything. I'm just connected to the router. So here I'm going to do a 192.168. Okay, 168. Dot one dot one, and that is the default IP address of the DDWRT firmware. So I'm going to go there, and as you can see, I'm totally connected to it. It's probably going to ask you for a password here, but uh, we're going to go to the administration tab. And if you get this kind of a hesitation, just hit Control F5 to refresh the page. And there we go. And um, like I said, if it asks you for your password, it's usually uh, whatever you set up the password when you first flash the router. If it's uh, admin, password, then go with that. Um, I have my own, you use your own. So go to the administration and then we're going to go to firmware upgrade. And actually before we do the firmware upgrade, let's take a look at what we have running in, in the router. And the way you do that is you go up here and right beside the firmware where it lists what the firmware is, just click on that. It's a link and it says about 
and it shows you here that I'm on the 26653 revision. So let's upgrade this to the, uh, I think it's 27147. Let's go take a look. So I'm going to click on Browse here under Firmware Management. Like I said, Firmware Upgrade. So administra Administration tab, Firmware Upgrade, Browse. And I'm going to go to the, my WNR 2000 version 3 folder, and the 27147 is the one I want. Okay, so we're going to go on, open that up. And then we're going to choose the factory NA. And if you, you know, if you're in North America, if you downloaded the WWW, sorry, the WW image, just click on that. Always do that one first. And then we're going to come back and do the web flash after that. So hit open here. You can see that it's listed here. I'm going to close this out. Sorry. It's listed here uh, as to what we're going to put in. It keeps popping that up. And then we're going to click on upgrade. Now this process takes a little bit. So I'll probably fast forward it to when it's finished in the video. Okay, it says upgrade of uh, successful. It hasn't refreshed back to the web page, but we're going to do that manually just by going back to the 192.168.1.1 and enter. And as you can see, we've uh, you know we're back onto it. And you'll notice something here, and I'm going to show you what the firmware actually shows right at this point. It still shows six six two six six five three even though we're starting the process. That won't be actually showing the correct um, firmware revision until we do the second part. So again, we're going to go to the administration tab and then we're going to go to firmware. And again, hit the browse button and it automatically takes me back to the last folder I, I opened up and it is the R27147. So second portion of this is the web flash bin. So click on that, click open and upgrade. All right, that took a bit, but uh, here we are. We're back at the, the uh, uh, control panel for the router. And let's go take a look at our firmware revision now. And as you can see, we've successfully upgraded it to 27147. All right, so we, we've installed it and, you know, it's been working okay for you, but it, for some reason there's something in it that it's not working as well as your old one was, or you want to go back to try an older uh, revision of this. So that's as straightforward as, as uh, going forward is the same as going uh, it, it's the same going back so go to the administration tab firmware upgrade and then we're just going to do the procedure but we're going to use an, the older revision uh, to do it as well so just click on browse uh, let's go back to my folder where I have all the uh, versions I'm going to go to the 26446 version and again, I'm going to choose the NA image because I'm in North America. But, you know, if you're outside of North America, you choose the WW image and click open on that. Select it, click open. And we'll do the upgrade, upgrade again. And I'll fast forward to the end again. And there we are. We're back to the router control panel. Uh, let's take a look at the firmware and see what it's showing right at this point. Again, you see no change here at all because that's the first part of the image. You have to do the first and the second part. So... Let's do the second part, back to the administration tab, firmware upgrade, and then browse again. And this time we're gonna do the web flash bin. So we choose that, click open, hit upgrade, and I'll fast forward to the end. Okay, so there's the end of the flashing process. And at this point, we should be at the older firmware up here. So back to this link uh, and click on that. And as you can see, we're now at 266 Sorry, 26446 revision. That's it. That's how you upgrade and downgrade the beta firmware on this router uh, to an older version or a newer version, depending on what you want to do. Uh, before we uh, wrap this up, though, there's one more thing we need to do. We got to go back down to the network icon down here and open Network and Sharing Center, then go to Change Adapter Settings, and then we have to re enable your Wi Fi so that you can connect wirelessly to whatever it is you're connecting wirelessly to. So hit Enable here. That's it. We're connected. And uh, at this point, you can disconnect your router and uh, configure it any way you wish. That's it for my video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a favor. Click on the like button right down here. And, uh, you know, if you wish to subscribe to my channel, just click on this link up here. And that should subscribe you to the, the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or Richard Lloyd USA channel. Um, okay. Again. Thank you very much for your time and watching.